How's it going guys? Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can remove your airbag from one of your charger, challengers, anything that has one of these airbags on it so that you can replace your clock spring or if you have to remove the airbag. Either way, I looked and there's a bunch of garbage videos out there on how to do this. So I'm gonna hopefully show you guys as simply as possible how to do this. First things first, I already have this out of the vehicle because I wanna show you guys how it works rather than you guys just go poking around with a screwdriver so here's your steering wheel you're gonna see on both sides of the steering wheel there is a hole right here so it's a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch on both sides and a lot of people that have the videos on YouTube they're pretty much have demolished these holes trying to accomplish this task so I'm gonna try to save you guys from doing that to yours this is my clock spring you can see here it is absolutely obliterated like all of the ribbons inside it are absolutely just mangled right there so um, i'm replacing it with a new clock spring right here but as far as trying to get your airbag out a lot of people use like a tiny screwdriver like this i don't recommend doing that get yourself something that pretty much is the same size as the hole so some people will use a allen key or something like that this i just sacrificed a little harbor freight you can see pittsburgh screwdriver and i just chopped it off on the end so that i have a flat edge because essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to stick your screwdriver in through this hole and I'll show you guys where it pops through. So you're going to stick your screwdriver in through this hole and you're going to be coming in at this angle and you're going to be shooting upwards like that and what that corresponds to is on the sides here you're going to see this tab right here. So see this little slot you are trying to get between the steel plate and the plastic and you're trying to hit this tiny little bar right here. So if you go ahead and you use one of these little tiny screwdrivers, you're gonna be there forever trying to essentially come in and hit that right there. Whereas if you use a modified screwdriver or whatever else you come up with, you have a much better odds of hitting this. So what I would try to do honestly is when you come in here, if you hit plastic, you know you gotta go further towards the back so you're gonna hit metal so you can probably poke around and tap and when you start hearing the metal sound again the airbag's gonna be like this so the further you go towards the back so towards your dashboard is where you're gonna be trying to push on the end of this tab the further you go to the front you're gonna hit in the plastic so as you come in through the hole you want to try and hit this metal piece and you're gonna try to hit that tab it's a little bit fun. I find that when I was, as I was pushing down on it, I kind of pushed on the airbag and pushed on the tab at the same time to get it to release. So I just want to show you guys that procedure. Once you get the airbag out, again, make sure your battery is disconnected before you do any of this stuff, you guys. So I don't expect anybody to actually use this information, but I'm just sharing with you guys what happened here. So make sure you disconnect your stuff here. You're gonna have the airbag ones here, so those disconnect from the airbag. And then these two plugs go down into here. So one clicks into there, one clicks into there. Um, you're gonna have to use a screwdriver to pry out the locking tab. So on each one, just use a little screwdriver, pry those guys out, and then they'll pop out of here. And if you have an airbag light, or maybe you're deciding to do this so that you can put in a clock spring that supports a airbag that has the illumination, then you have this wire here that goes to this blue one here, and then you have the illuminated airbag. So that's the procedure there. And if you guys are interested in seeing me do this stuff, I'm gonna show you guys that right here, and uh, I'll show you guys me removing it, and then we'll get into installing this stuff. All right, so I just popped the airbag out. That is a fun process, you guys. I'm gonna disconnect my airbag. Our bolt is out. All right, so I got my marks on here. So I think it's keyed, but just in case it's not. Yeah, it looks to be keyed, but not a bad idea to just make sure. Oh yeah. That clock spring has seen better, <laughs> better days, you guys. <laughs> look at it. So, look at all the the ribbons are just all over the dang place. Yeah, look at them. Those things are pissed off. So they're all bound up. So, 
Yeah, I would say that's our issue. <laughs> so, I checked the fuses and everything first, you guys, and I pretty much, pretty much knew what the heck the deal was gonna be when uh, when this happened. So, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next step of removing this. Okay, so next up, looks like we're gonna be able to just pull this, and it's gonna come off. The only thing is our boot is attached here, so. I think there's a series of clips that are holding this on. So I'm just running a little screwdriver around the perimeter of it. So we can pop this off. Not too worried about this because this is getting replaced. There we go. There we go. So she's free. And then we've got the one main connector here. And it's off. Here we are back in the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this new one in. So make sure it's fully seated. Now I'm gonna go put this up here. And not sure if I said this at the beginning, but make sure your wheels are pointed straight for this whole procedure, you guys. So definitely wanna make sure that your wheels are straight before you start all of this. And this should click on to here. I just gotta start it from one side and once we get it on, we can work it around. Nice, nice, easy now. Okay. There's that there. So now we can pull that out of there. So that's how that comes off, obviously. And the wheel is indexed, you guys. I did mark it just in case. For some reason it wasn't, but it is in fact indexed. And there we go. So yeah, it'll only go on the one way. And let's go ahead and we'll reinstall our bolt just to make things easier so it's not all flopping around. So the bolt is a 10 mil Allen. So now you're just left with your airbag connections and then if you have a light on your airbag, this is the wire for that. And then we can just push our airbag and click it back into place. If you guys are wondering how these guys work, essentially right here when you lift them up, you can see you lift it up right here. So just get a little pick or screwdriver and you're gonna pick at this orange piece and then lift it up. And then once you lift that up and you see this little cage come out, then you can remove that connector. All right, so our connections are on, so Airbag's ready to be pressed on, but just before I fully press it on, I'm gonna just make sure everything works because as you guys know, removing the airbag is <laughs> a huge chore in itself. So I'm gonna just turn it on, turn the system on, make sure everything works. Um, again, do that at your own discretion, but I just wanna make sure all my buttons work and then I'll turn the power back off, fully click the bag in. So a moment of truth, if I turn my lights on and this illuminates, and it does, then that should mean we've got some power. So let me make sure all my steering wheel buttons work. Here we go. So yeah, now all my buttons on the steering wheel work again because this stuff was all not working before. Sweet. So that should mean we've got some action. So I'm good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power back off and I'm gonna press this fully in. All right, so power's off. So should be able to just push this in. So, and there we go, back in business. All right, so that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys found this helpful or informative. If you guys are into Mopar content, we've got the Hellcat swapped Dakota that you guys just saw the inside of. Also have a Hellcat swapped Ram with Hellcat seats and a bunch of cool stuff, leather stitch dash. So if you guys are interested in all that, definitely check it out. Thanks for watching, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, we'll catch you guys on the next video.